They say science follows thought, but thoughts always require the support of imagination. India's Chandrayaan-2 mission has done exactly this. It has forced pioneers around the world to think differently. While there has been an outpouring of support globally for the Indian Space Research Organization, the latest is unexpected. In an exclusive conversation with Vion, Namira Saleem, Pakistan's first woman astronaut, has praised India's attempt to land on the south pole of the moon. Namira is the first Pakistani to travel to space on board the Virgin Galactic. She says that ISRO's venture itself was a giant leap for South Asia and the global space industry. And she's given this interview with a caveat that we're happy to share. These are her independent views as a private citizen. Listen in. ISRO's and India's Chandrayaan-2 mission is a giant leap for South Asia. And being a global uh, thought leader in the space industry, and you know, a patron of the Commercial Space Flight Federation in that capacity, and as a global citizen, I congratulated um, India on this successful attempt to land uh, the Vikram lander on the moon. It's in today's world, you know, the space industry is open to all sectors, to all countries, whether they are emerging space nations, new space nations, or space-faring countries. There's a whole thing going on about public-private partnerships. So India's mission to the moon, it's about the contribution they have made to the international global space industry for the benefit of mankind. The Chandrayaan-2 mission is going to create a big, you know, a paradigm shift in the minds of many future scientists and young explorers who will be part of the next generation of space leaders. And, you know, it's about understanding how to explore the moon, how to form a future base on the moon, how to, you know, approach deep space exploration. Uh, this is just the first step, but in the near future, in 2024, for example, uh, NASA will create a coalition of nations under its Artemis program and not only create an international base on the moon, it will also send back the next man and the first woman on the moon. So this is like a very, you know, groundbreaking development and it actually will help everybody learn from this experience in the global scientific community. And we are working in a global village of, you know, uh, space countries right now. So this is a great contribution to learning how to approach uh, such missions in future. It's amazing to note that the Chandrayaan-2 mission uh, had a great contribution by women scientists. It's extremely inspirational. And in many countries like the US, for example, STEM education is very much encouraged these days, which is science, technology, engineering, math. I am somebody who actually uh, proposes, you know, adding an A to the STEM and making it STEAM, which means that the arts are very important also in scientific education. We need art and design to even create a rocket, for instance. So our developing countries particularly should actually incorporate STEAM and STEM education for young women leaders who can be the next generation of space um, leaders and, you know, who will make a global contribution to the space industry.